Eli Roth's original knock-knock ending is decidedly different from the alternate ending, which sets up a potential sequel. Knock-knock stars Keanu Reeves as Evan, a husband and father who is visited by two strangers, Genesis, Lorenza Izzo, and Belle, Ana de Armas. After allowing them into his home, the girls coerce him into having sex then reveal to Evan that they're underage, and torment him with the threat of calling the police. Knock Knock ends with Genesis and Belle burying him up to his neck, uploading their sex tape, and leaving him to be found by his wife. While the movie delivered on the expectations that come with a director like Eli Roth, the ending of Knock Knock proved incredibly controversial, mainly because it didn't offer closure, either emotionally or narratively. However, Eli Roth wrote a Knock Knock alternate ending that gives the elements of abuse present throughout much more meaning than the theatrical ending and sets up a possible sequel, though whether Knock Knock 2 will ever happen is a different matter. What happens in the Knock Knock alternate ending? Evan tracks down Belle and Genesis for revenge. The Knock Knock alternate ending sees Belle and Genesis leaving Evan's house, presumably heading toward a new victim. On their way out, they steal his family dog, Monkey. Evan uses the tracking device on the dog's collar to find them. Once he does, Evan knocks on their door, and they respond with, who's there, mirroring the beginning of the movie. It brings everything in Knock Knock full circle, but instead of setting the sequel up to see Keanu Reeves in a revenge movie like John Wick, it provides an opportunity to explore the two villains. While Genesis and Belle are tormenting Evan throughout the movie, it's insinuated that they've experienced severe trauma and assault themselves, which led them to attack men and, more specifically, fathers. The main reasons the two girls in Knock Knock target men like Evan are never fully revealed, which is one reason the ending felt unsatisfying. The Knock Knock alternate ending offered the opportunity for a sequel that expanded on the story of Belle and Genesis, explaining the specifics of why they do what they do. Evan tracking Belle and Genesis down to confront them, and possibly even turn the tables on them, would be the perfect narrative vehicle for this exposition. Evan represents something evil from their past that Belle and Genesis cannot escape, it's clear that the two women went through something awful in their lives, which in turn caused them to turn their tormentors into their victims. However, given Belle and Genesis' potential backstory prior to the events of Knock Knock and the different gender power dynamics, a Knock Knock sequel where Evan subjects Belle and Genesis to similar torment in search of an answer would be too simplistic in many ways, veering into hostile-like sequel territory. At its core, Knock Knock is a story about victims, survivors, and predators. Had it concluded with Eli Roth's alternate ending, it could have expanded the story beyond the assumption that Genesis and Belle are just senseless brutalizers. It could have added nuance to the movie that, as it stands now, has a simplistic ending. In Knock Knock's theatrical ending, the audience can assume Evan's wife leaves him, and the suffering he faces continues to impact his life. The Knock Knock alternate ending would have been more sensible and offered the story several additional layers that it desperately needed.